Hey, what's up guys, Digirex here, and today we are taking a quick look into the high-end pistol, the Damascus, within the division. So first off, how you obtain the Damascus is through the crafting station. You actually get a blueprint for completing the last mission in the game, and you can craft it for five high-end weapon parts and three high-end tools. Blueprint from the mission General Assembly, which is the last mission in the game where you defeat sergeant bliss or lieutenant bliss in the helicopter you know the helicopter mission yeah that one so the damascus is closer to the higher fire rate less damage per bullet type of pistol it has good accuracy pretty average reload speed pretty average it's just average pistol besides the accuracy i honestly with the damascus i have no problem keeping my reticule on the target's head at all times and the three talents are harmful each hit has a 12.5 chance to apply the bleed status effect to the target and i personally think this is the most useful useful perk on the damascus just because the bleeding effect actually does help when you're fighting other players and even ai you can just whip out this pistol shoot them a few times get the bleed effect on them and then hammer in on them with your primary weapon and 12.5 percent isn't too shabby so it only takes the first few bullets of a mag to get that bleeding gut going Plus you have 15 bullets to a mag, so that's pretty good for a pistol. The next talent is Restored. Killing a target with this weapon removes all negative status effects. I think this is the most useful per useless perk on this weapon, and it's pretty much a useless perk on any weapon, because most of the status effects, you can't even shoot while you have them. You can't shoot while you're burning, you can't shoot while you're being shocked. You can shoot while you're bleeding or blind, but... Most of the time, you're going to want to take cover if you're bleeding or blind and just let that pass because it's pretty hard to kill an enemy when you have that negative status effect, especially with the sidearm. So yeah, this perk is near useless, I feel like. And then the last one is called Expert. This weapon deals 100% more damage when the target is below 30% health. This could be useful for some elite or named enemies you find throughout the Dark Zone or other high-level missions within the Division. This will... Do a lot more damage to them. Do twice as much damage when they're below 30% health. And they'll be below 30% health for a good amount of time. So this might be useful for elites or named enemies. But for regular enemies, honestly, they don't stay below 30% health much before they are killed by somebody else or your own gun or whatever. So on, realistically with this, this just saves ammo in the mag for your pistol. Which saving ammo really, is, really isn't a priority for sidearms because they have unlimited ammo and all this does was make it one or two less bullets to kill which really isn't a concern with this weapon since it has a pretty fast fire rate so you can empty those one or two bullets pretty fast into the target if they are that low. The only thing you can mod on the Damascus is the muzzle. You can't mod anything else. You can only put barrel attachments on. You can't put mag attachments on, under barrel, sight on, none of that. Not even a camo or a skin. You can only put a muzzle on, and what I, what I recommend is something like this that increases the range, because honestly with a pistol you definitely want more range as most sidearms are close oriented, so you just want something with a little more range so you can take out targets that are further away with this pistol. So that's what I recommend putting on. There's not really much, because it has pretty good stability already, so you don't really want to put something that increases the stability more when you don't need it and waste an attachment slot. So that's what I think for the Damascus attachments. Alright, so here we go, testing out in the field, and there's the bleeding taking place there, as you see the little heart by his name after I shot him. And then he's below 30% health, so we should watch it, oh, yep, pop over from 4,000 to 9,000 right there. And that's demonstrating two out of the three of the abilities. I don't think I'll be able to demonstrate another one of the abilities, because that one's basically worthless. Now let's see, bleeding taking effect on that guy again, he's slowly bleeding, let's see. Bleeding taking effect again. Four, oh, there's the 9,000, the double damage taking place when they're below 30% health. There's more bleeding, as you see, the bleeding perk is actually really useful. There we go, finishing him off. So I really like the bleeding perk and the double damage perk for these guys, but like I said, it's really hard to get a kill when you actually have one of the negative status effects, especially with a sidearm. So that perk is basically useless, but these other two perks are good. I feel like can be useful, and the other one just... Okay. 
All right, guys, so we're going to do a little bit of a recoil test here. Let's see the spread from this vending machine's range. I'm just going to pull the trigger as fast as I can to see the recoil pattern. So I'd say from this range that the recoil is actually manageable on the Damascus, which is good. Most pistols recoil should be manageable from this range. This is the range you'll probably be using them most often. Now let's try it from here. So the recoil gets a little harder to manage, but you can still do it. Now we're going to try from this plant. So the recoil gets pretty hard to manage here. This is probably where it stops getting effective. And then by the end of this hallway... By the end of this hallway, it's a lot harder to manage. So you're going to have to start taking your shots a lot more slowly. Probably going to miss a lot more. So it's harder to manage at the end of the hallway, as you can see here. But if you're in this range, you barely have to do anything to adjust your aim. So the Damascus is super effective up close. Gets a little bit harder as you start getting further away. Alright guys, that was a quick look into the Damascus. I feel like this sidearm is very good and it's well deserved to be high end and it's well deserved to be taking up the place of your sidearm. Personally, I prefer the double barrel shotgun as a sidearm, but if you're looking for a pistol, this one will do you just fine. With its perks and everything about it, this will do you fine in the field or doing any missions or anything. It has a well-deserved spot as a high-end named weapon and a well-deserved spot in your sidearm place. So guys, this has been the quick view into the Damascus high-end pistol. This has been Digirex. Peace out.